YouTube. I just put AJ to sleep. So he's down for the night. And so now I am left to clean the house and get ready for my own bedtime. Cause you know, pregnancy and a toddler, I'm tired. So I'm gonna start with the living room and the kitchen. The living room is a hot mess. That's little. That's AJ's little designated area. My way of trying to keep him from tearing the rest of the house apart. And the kitchen. So I've seen several moms on YouTube do um, the 10 minute tidy up challenge. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Honestly, because that's like the best way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, that's like the best way for me to quickly tidy up everything because if I'm on a timer, it's going to push me to get things done. But if I'm not on the timer, I end up like, it can wait till tomorrow. So I'm going to do the 10 minute tidy challenge and we're going to see how everything turns out. So in 10 minutes, this is what I got done. I got a little bit of the counter cleared off, the trash gathered. I got one more dish here to put in the dishwasher. Uh, this side still, well, I'm still working on that pot. That's our dinner for today. And living room looks a whole lot better. Um, yeah, so it's all... Clear it off. 
Yeah, I'm watching Shark Tank. I love Shark Tank. <laughs> so, I got a few other things laying around over here on the, the couch. I'm about to grab that and turn this way because that window is bright. So, yeah. So, I'm going to grab these other few little things and I'm going to have a nice little sit down. Before I get going with the video, um, the video, not the last video that I posted um, about my hair journey, but the one before that, what was it about? Oh, the one about um, the miscarriages. Um, there was a part that I had included in that video, but when I started editing, something corrupted that portion of the video so i couldn't include it so i'm gonna redo it right now so that you all um will have a chance to see what i was talking about and what it was since i was talking about um uh, my journey to motherhood and having to go through um uh the multiple miscarriages um it basically it it, it builds um a good bit of worry when you have future pregnancies and you're constantly worrying and hoping that everything is okay and wondering if everything is okay and if you're like me you're like stressing out like why are they making me wait four weeks for my next appointment like I need to know like every minute that everything is okay um so I sort of cheated so you know at the doctor's office um when you go in for the checkups um they go in, well, they, they go and they look for uh, the baby's heartbeat. So I was like, well, I can't sit still and I can't wait for another four weeks. I want to make sure that everything is good within, uh, between those doctor's appointments. So, yeah. So when I was pregnant with AJ, I went and <laughs> I got a, um, a fetal heart Doppler. And I love this thing. I really do. Um, it takes a little practice at first because especially if you use it early on in your pregnancy, um, it's hard to find the heartbeat because the baby is small. Um, so with AJ, I was, I think, 10 weeks when I ordered this. And, um, and I found his heartbeat right away and... I heard his heartbeat all through, all through the pregnancy. Um, with this one, I I started checking. I started checking like a little bit, bef like real early, even though I knew the baby was like teeny tiny. So I, but you know, you're excited and you just want to see. So I I tried. Um, early on like six weeks um six and a half and <laughs> so so god told me you know what wait you, you're rushing it wait wait until eight weeks so basically he um led me to wait until that monday that i was eight weeks so i didn't mess with it anymore and then at eight weeks um I pulled it back out and I checked and I searched and searched and I found a heartbeat and I was like, oh, there's the baby's heartbeat. Oh my gosh. And it was a strong heartbeat and that's what I'm listening for. Um, cause I didn't have my first doctor's appointment until I was nine weeks. So I got to hear my baby's heartbeat before I went to my first, um, doctor's appointment. So I'm going to show you. So basically, it's like the same thing that, you know, the doctors use in the doctor's offices. The only thing is probably not as strong as the ones in the doctor's offices. Um, so it's just the little um, monitor. And then you have the wand. And you just plug, plug the wand up into the monitor. And I'm hold, holding the camera with my other hand. So I'm trying to do this with one hand. Yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> so it just plugs in like that. And it comes with a little tube of gel. I learned the other day when I um I tried I tried listening without the gel and you're not you're not gonna hear anything. So then when I put the gel on, then it was like oh, I could hear everything. Like I could hear um like there's like a whole lot of you know whooshing noises. There's like some noises in there that sound like it just sounds like a constant gust of wind. I'm like, what is that? Um <laughs> And of course, you can hear your own um, heartbeat, pulse, whatever. Um, and of course, like I mentioned in the miscarriage video, your heartbeat is much slower than the baby's heartbeat. The baby's heartbeat is going to be twice as fast. So when you're going through and you're searching and you find that heartbeat that's going like super, super fast, that's your baby. Um... So basically, so you turn it on, just turn the power button on, and you probably can't see on the camera, but there's, right now it's just dashes on the screen, but once it starts picking up the sound, it will, um, numbers will pull up, and basically it's uh, measuring um, the heartbeat, the speed of the heartbeat. Um, yeah. So you turn it on. You put I put the gel on the wand. I usually put the gel on the wand first and then turn it on because when you put it on it's gonna make a lot of loud noise. Um Yeah. Hear that? Yeah, so it's gonna make a lot of, you know, noise. And um Basically, you want to, and I'm just going to show, um, <laughs> just with my dress on, of course, I'm just going to show, like, the best place to put the wand. So, especially when it's early on, like, right now, I am 15 weeks, sorry, pregnancy brain, it's hard for me to think, y'all, like, I can't think. All right, so, um... So, 15 weeks is not really that hard to find the heartbeat. Right now, the baby is moving around. Every time I check, um, the baby's, like, kicking and just just moving all over the place. And I can catch the heartbeat, and then the baby will move, and then I have to move some more to try to find the heartbeat again. So, the baby is very, very active. But early on, you want to start as low as you can. Basically, you want to put pressure on your um your abdomen like right above your um pubic bone and like um and press in and kind of like go in at an angle like this like you're trying to uh pick up sounds from the top of your um pubic bone and basically that'll help you find the heartbeat if you're checking early on early early on in the pregnancy but as the baby grows and your uterus expands basically you just put the wand on and boom you find the heartbeat so you want to basically start like right at the right at the bottom of your abdomen yes i have a big belly already y'all it don't make any sense how is this 15 weeks really really is that really 15 weeks jeez yeah so I use this to make sure everything is just okay because, you know, sometimes us moms, we <laughs> we get nervous and we're just like, okay, I, uh, I hope everything's okay. Or we, you know, have these discomforts and these pains or whatnot. Like this morning, I had um, so much pain, but I think it was just, you know, I think it just was coming from gas. But it just, it hurts so bad. And so you're like, oh my gosh, I hope everything is okay. So, of course, like, you know, I rested and I didn't do too much. And then when I got a moment, I pulled this out and checked to see. I had AJ with me. And I was like, you want to listen to baby? And, of course, he didn't know what was going on and what I was talking about. So 
I um checked on baby and baby is perfectly fine. <laughs> so if you would like um a fetal heart doppler of your own um i definitely suggest one of these especially if you're the type that you know you just you just want to keep up with things in between those doctor's appointments um you can go to my webpage supermomsjourney.com and i'll try to remember to have the link right here if not the link is in the de description box um but go to uh, my website um supermomsjourney.com and go to superstore and you will see it there so order yours and happy listening so 15 weeks pregnant and i am actually starting to feel better um so i've been getting a few things done this week been moving around a little bit more the fatigue um definitely not bad anymore um every now and then i'll feel a little overly tired um mostly after i eat something so after i eat and get pretty full not pretty full because i don't even get entirely full but um <laughs> close to full um i start to feel a little tired to the point that i cannot fight it and i just have to lay down and close my eyes i don't care what's going on Who's doing what? I have to lay down and close my eyes. Um, morning sickness, not bad at all. It's 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 been nice. Um, so I'm hoping that it's going for a while. Um, yesterday, I found out that something does trigger my morning sickness, and it's orange juice. So I can't drink orange juice. I was drinking orange juice a lot early on in the pregnancy. And then like this past week when um, I started to feel better, I wasn't drinking any orange juice. And I stopped drinking the orange juice because, you know, it just, I just, I didn't want it. <laughs> it was just kind of like one of those things where it just started to be like, mm, ew, I don't want any orange juice. So, I tried to drink some yesterday, and, oh my gosh, I got sick again. And I was like, oh. All right, so, Baby Boo does not like orange juice. At least that's who I'm going to blame it on. So, no orange juice for me. Um, yeah, so, I'm, I'm still working on the water. I'm still not doing a good job of drinking the amount of water that I should be drinking every day. So, still working on that. But, everything has been good. My um, my belly is, like, heavy and <sighs> um, starting to make me feel like it's wearing me out. And um, I still feel, you know, the little flutters and stuff when baby makes little sudden movements and whatnot. Um... That's pretty much it. So, not bad at all. Um, a friend of mine told me about um, peppermints to help with um, tiredness. And honestly, it, it has helped with my tiredness and <laughs> my nausea. So, if I start, you know, feeling like, you know, a little queasy, I'll pop in a peppermint and I'll feel better. So, yeah. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> now, with me being home for the summer, this is basically ideal for pregnancy <laughs> for me because pregnancy is so tough on me. So being home for the summer is wonderful. With that being said, what I actually would like is for this to continue so what i mean is that <laughs> i really 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 would love to work from home and i've been feeling this way for the past couple of years i haven't always 
it felt this way. At one point, I was very career driven and I didn't see the point in stay. Like, what do I want to be home for? Like, stay home and do what? I need, I need to do stuff. So, my summers, I'm not even going to say summer vacation because my summers, I was working still. I had to go and I had to do something. I had to do this. I had to do that. Um, had this project to do. I had, um, uh, this to go work on and so I always had a lot of stuff going on then when it got to the point where I was um, ready to have kids I I really wanted um, to be home with my kids mostly because I started thinking about how I grew up um, most of my childhood um, uh, my mom was home she was a stay-at-home mom and I loved it I did I loved it so much that when I was in I think seventh grade sixth or seventh grade and she went back to work I was I was angry about that I was mad um <laughs> but I I just I loved having I loved having her home and I want to be able to do the same thing for my own kids and also, um, I want to be home because as they grow up, I also want to um, homeschool them. So, especially with me being an educator, it's it's like, I, I, I have to homeschool them. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, I have been trying a few things, applied a few places. Um, so far, it hasn't worked out too well. Um, I've had a few, um, interviews here and there, um, before, before I was even, um, pregnant with AJ, I was, um, applying for some, uh, work from home positions that were, um, in the education field. And I had one position, um, where I was working online as a tutor and, it was okay, but it was, it, I can't even describe how it was. Because I don't want to say it was complicated, because it wasn't really complicated, but it was, it was very fast paced. And I think it was just a little too fast for me at the time, because I'm the type of educator where I like to sit down with my students and walk them through you know, then the whole concepts of whatever it is that they're working on so that they understand. I wasn't used to just, um, here, fix this, fix that, and there you go. Move on to the next person. Okay, what do you need? Okay, you need this. Okay, so this is what you need to do, and blah, 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 and okay, there. On to the next person. So, it didn't really fit my teaching style and... So then it just became like a lot of pressure and, you know, then they had all these rules and stuff and you had all these different requirements that you had to meet by a certain time. And I was just, basically I was, I was too slow <laughs> and I wasn't meeting them in time. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to take a break from this and, um, and come back to it. And it's been a few years. I haven't come back to it yet. Um, so yeah. So, I've been trying to look for um, other places, and I find other positions, but I find that a lot of work-from-home jobs, like a lot of them that are like easy to find, are part-time. So then, there's the, the issue of, okay, so I don't want to, you know, quit my full-time job to work part-time. Um, I still need that, um, that full-time income. And, of course, just recently, like the other day, like two days ago, maybe, I realized that maybe I could just get two um, part-time work-from-home jobs. So, that's something that I'm looking into because I didn't even consider that before. Um, I'm looking for something that I can basically work my own hours um, 
each day. Uh, I plan to work like the same hours every day. Um, but I, I would like the flexibility of, you know, if, you know, for whatever reason I may need to work different hours on a different day, I can do that. And I know that probably seems like I'm asking for a lot, but I do know that it is possible. And I do know that there are positions out there that, um, that have that. So that's what I'm looking for, um, especially with me having um, AJ and then I have another one on the way. I need I need the flexibility um, with having uh, the kids and then um, with Angela and my husband working um, second shift. So I, I need the flexibility. So I got a lot of things that I'm working on on my own also. Because I, I don't want to spend the rest of my life working for somebody else. I, I want to do my own thing. Um, I do have a tutoring service and it is AR Learning. And um, right now it's, it's, it's on pause. But I'm still working on it because I'm, I'm getting some online things together with that. Um, and I just, I tutor students from preschool up to um, adults, basically, because even with adults, I help with, you know, they have to take those, um, oh, I can't think, y'all, goodness, pregnancy, <laughs> the, you know, the skills test for different job positions or, um, you know, sometimes people need help writing their resumes, so I do things like that, so I help with um, test prep, um, writing as resumes, um, putting together a, a career portfolio, um, which I need to update mine. Um, see, and I like I like doing stuff like that. Um, even you know with preschool, and I know some of you are probably like what tutor in preschool, but yeah, there are some kids that you know they just they need that extra little help even that young because the basic. Um, concepts they may not um, they may not be grasping as fast as they should and then a lot of times um, some may have um, learning disabilities so uh, helping with that um, so yeah so I do all of that so preschool to adults reading math science social studies writing job interview practice, job applications, writing resumes, um, college applications, all of that stuff. Um, so with this new baby on the way, I'm trying to figure out exactly um, what I want to do with AR learning as far as do I want to pick up with after school tutoring when school starts back or do I want to do strictly um, online tutoring? Or um, do I want to do um, basically provide some of those other services um, alone? And really just depends on how I'm going to feel as I move along further in this pregnancy. Because um, with AJ, mobility was... Mm -mm. Me walking around was out of the question. So traveling from this place to that place and doing all this walking around, standing around, I, I, it was hard for me to do. Um, AJ was born in February and huh, November I, you know, could barely walk. So, ooh, that's a long time. And my doctor told me that this pregnancy... Stuff like that. It's going to start even earlier. Oh my gosh. All right. So, yeah. So, those are the things that I am working on and um, striving to work from home. I want to be home. I want to. And y'all saw the mess when I was doing my 10 minute tidy. Um, I want. <laughs> I want to be home so that way I can keep all of that under control. And it doesn't get out of hand like that. And it's only out of hand now because, you know, I I, I don't feel well that much. And then, I, you know, I'm resting. 
So, <laughs> so that's why it's gotten so bad like that. Oh, but y'all, in my future videos that I have coming up, my next video is going to be on um, uh, AJ's bedtime routine. So please make sure you stay tuned next week for the next video. And then after that, I'm going to be working on my um, home, or home organization videos because in my very first video, I, um, I asked the question about organization and how, how do you even go about being organized. And in my second video, I told y'all that I got some tips on that and I was super excited about organizing. So I'm about to um, basically do a clean sweep of this entire house and I'm going to take you all along for the journey room by room. So the first room we're going to do is the kitchen. So, um, make sure you log on and stay tuned and click that bell so you'll be notified of my next videos. So that way you won't miss, um, me going through the entire house and basically just, I'm going to call it remodeling. Yeah, I'm remodeling my house. Just reorganizing it though because it seriously needs it. Um, but I figured out like what I need to do so that. I can be organized and what works for me because what works for other people won't necessarily work for me or to me it may be just you know that's too much I just need something simple to do blah 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 so I figured out what I need what will work for me and I am so excited so make sure y'all stay tuned for that so Let's talk about some questions now. <laughs> All right, questions. I have two questions. My first question is basically, how many of you moms out there actually work from home? Because um, I'm wondering, is it really, um, is it starting to be a norm? Has it always been a norm? Um, for more moms to be working from home or more moms to work um, outside of the home. So I'm just curious about that. So how many of you actually work from home? Um, my second question is, those of you that do work from home, um, that have worked outside of the home before, what tips do you have as far as... Um, a career mom transitioning to working from home like what are some things that I should prepare for because it's gonna be different you know it's not gonna be you know me waking up early in the morning and driving to work and at work all day away from my family and away from the house and then at the end of the work day drive back home and then basically cook dinner and straighten up whatever has, you know, has been destroyed and basically pick up from there. So being home and working, how, what are some tips that you all have for transitioning from working outside of the home to when you actually start um, working at home or This week's inspiration is um, definitely um, an inspiration for myself. Um, my inspiration is Romans 10 and 17. And, and it reads, So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. And if you have the King James Version, it says um, through the word of God. I'm learning to truly, truly, truly walk by faith. And I know that eventually I'm going to find um, the position that God wants me to um, work in and be home and raise my children the way that he wants me to raise them. Remember that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of Christ. Not you just randomly come up with something 
and say, oh, well, this is just, this is just what I want. This is just what I want to do. I'm going to call it faith. Okay. But if God didn't say, if God didn't say that this is what he wants for you, if God isn't giving you the urge to, to strive for a certain thing, if he didn't say it, if it's not his word, this, that's not faith. That's just you wanting something and <laughs> you just <laughs> fulfilling your flesh and going for it. Just like I want um, some sour patches right now, but I know I don't need any sour patches. Yeah, I want some sour patches. God did not tell me that he wants me to have sour patches. Continuous, continuous faith and believing God's word and trusting his word. Have faith on what God has spoken, on what he has said, and you go for it. You work towards it and it will happen. And I will be working from home and I'm taking you all along that journey also. So, once again, your tips and um, any answers to my questions are much appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned next week for um, my video on AJ's bedtime routine. Because you do not want to miss that. Because I have, a little, um, I have a little secret also to share with that. So, you don't want to miss that. Especially for you moms that are struggling to get your little ones to sleep at night. Um, or sleep through the night. Um, or, you know, struggling to get them to even go to bed at night. Um, or even some other things because I have a few little secrets that I came up with that um, that helps out with some other things too. So don't miss it. So uh, make sure you all like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribe, subscribed already. Um, make sure you check out my website, supermomsjourney.com. And also, when you subscribe um, to my channel, make sure you click the bell so you'll be notified when I post um, my next videos. Um, when you go to my website, supermomsjourney.com, make sure you also join my email list so you won't miss any of my blog posts because you don't want to miss those either. Um, other than that, you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you all next week. Bye.